looking at the exterior design of the Aptera and Tesla alone, the undiscerning would see two very different types of vehicles from two very different companies. But is it possible that Aptera and Tesla have more in common than what's seen on the surface? Welcome to another episode of Aptera Reboot. Before we continue, I'd like to congratulate Ron on winning the Aptera 3D printed logo. Congratulations, Ron, and thanks for being a subscriber. We recently ran a little experiment which turned out to be pretty successful, so thank you to everyone who participated. But a successful experiment is only a fluke unless it's reproducible, so let's try it one more time. For those of you who missed the last episode, my theory is that YouTube's audio visual algorithms are directly measuring user engagement. So this means us working together will lead to even more users finding out about Aptera in the latest in EV tech news. So once again, click that like button right now. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It won't cost you anything, but it means a lot to us. Now, on with the show. Thinking about an Aptera Tesla collaboration is an exciting prospect as it would not only mean that the paradigm could take a shorter path to production, but also doing so while using high quality parts from the current leader in EV manufacturing. On the surface, it doesn't appear that Aptera and Tesla have much in common. One is the world's leading EV manufacturer and the other is a startup. But if you take a closer look at the energy guiding their philosophy and their mission statement, you just might change your mind. Tesla's mission is about accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. Aptera is about building super efficient but fun to drive vehicles, which in turn leads to better management of Earth's natural resources. But in the very early days of this company, it was just two friends who wanted to build an electric vehicle which could go really fast. The first obstacle they had to overcome is a problem all too familiar with current EV manufacturing. Finding the best way to store energy for an EV. So, instead of using traditional lead acid batteries, they decided to put a bunch of lithium ion batteries together. Who are these two innovators? I'm talking about Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpening of Tesla. It wasn't until about a year after the original incorporation that they met with Elon Musk and decided to take Tesla to the next level. So looking at Aptera and Tesla, even the foundation stories are similar. Similar to Elon Musk, it's clear from watching interviews of CEOs Steve and Chris that taking a first principles approach to vehicle design and manufacturing is one of their highest priorities. Now I know you've heard that term thrown around a lot lately, but what does it really mean? First principles thinking is looking at how the smallest change can lead to the greatest outcome. In terms of electric vehicle manufacturing, it's a way to overcome constraints by understanding the fundamentals. And for batteries, they would say, oh, it's going to cost $600 um, uh, per kilowatt hour. And so it's not going to be much better than that in the future. And you say, no, okay, well, what, what, are, what are the batteries made of? So the so first principles would be to say, okay, what are the material constituents of the batteries? Mm -hmm. What is the spot market value of the material constituents? So you can say, okay, it's got cobalt, nickel, aluminum, carbon, um, and some polymers for separation, and a steel can. So break that down in, on a material basis and say, okay, what, 
if we bought that on the London Metal Exchange, what would each of those things cost? Like, oh, geez, uh, it's like $80 uh, 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 per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. So clearly, you just need to think of clever ways to take those materials and combine them into the shape of a battery cell, and you can have batteries that are much, much cheaper than anyone realizes. Tesla used first principles thinking and redesigning almost every component in a standard ICE vehicle. This approach led them to develop a light aerodynamic frame with a high-tech yet minimalist interior. It's no accident that the modern Tesla exterior and interiors have a similar look to even the older model Lapteras. We've had so many team members go to <laughs> Apple and <laughs> right. Tesla and everybody out there has, you know, some Aptera. Now it looks like Aptera may be moving beyond just having similar principles as Tesla to sharing physical parts. Quite a few articles and videos have pointed out the similarities between the charge port in a recent Aptera release to those used by Tesla. What does this mean for Aptera's charging capabilities? I found it interesting that the new Model S refresh has a similar steering wheel design to that of the Aptera. Also, the steering wheel stocks are quite similar to those found on the Model 3. When we take a look at the Aptera's proprietary driving visualization, it looks like the main focus of the software is to help you find as many ways as possible to increase vehicle efficiency. I know these similarities seem circumstantial, but play along for a minute. Respected engineer and auto industry expert Sandy Monroe was recently hired by Aptera as a consultant. Sandy's job is to help Aptera with manufacturing plant design and scalability and part sourcing. After spending some time with the boys at Aptera, Sandy took a road trip in his new Model 3 to one of Tesla's factories where he got to interview and spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Elon Musk. During the interview, Elon confirmed that he's willing to allow other vehicle manufacturers access to Tesla's supercharger network as well as autopilot system. Looking at Aptera's Q&A sheet, you'll notice Tesla cited quite a few times. The most noteworthy statement in the Q&A is the answer to the question of which charging standard Aptera plans to adopt. Their answer seems to keep the door open for a Tesla collaboration by saying, We believe that Tesla has some of the best EV technology in the industry, and we hope to partner with them someday. Given how quickly Aptera is looking to bring the paradigm to market, it is very likely that they will be utilizing components from first-tier EV parts manufacturers and OEMs such as Tesla. What do you guys think about the idea of Aptera and Tesla working together? Leave a comment below or comment hashtag AppTesla if you think this is a good idea. I for one am looking forward to being inside an Aptera driven by either Kama AI or Tesla Autopilot. Special thanks if you made it this far into the video. If you're interested in buying a Paradigm, see the link in the description below for a special deposit discount. If you want to support us in producing future content, visit our Patreon page also in the description. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.